Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. A little chilly today. It's supposed to be uh, in the 60s. <laughs> so you got, I got my beanie and my hoodie on. Anyway, uh, so this is going to be the first actual video that I'm posting. I've shot several of them. This is more of a complex job, so I wanted to definitely shoot a video on this. So this is a 2013 Toyota Avalon and I'm going to basically be restoring the leather on the driver's seat. Let me show it to you. All right. So I am definitely gonna have to get some better lighting in here, but you can see how worn the seat is. Actually, let's do this, here we go. You can see how worn the seat is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand some of this texture down with uh, some 180 grit to get it smooth um, and then after after it's all smooth I might have to cut off the edges of some of this but I want to see this isn't broken through so it's fine so what we want to do is we want to put some color back in there um, I may end up putting some uh, compound in there as well I'm not sure this right here I'm just gonna blend in I'm gonna clean it then I'm going to blend it all in and put some color in there. You can see where the color is missing. I don't think I'm going to put any compound in this. Just going to fix the color. But this is the problem. Right here. So I'm going to have to... Uh, probably going to trim the very edge off because the edges like to twist up a little bit. And I want it to lay flat. So probably going to just trim the edges off this. Um, I'm going to put some backing in there and a good amount of compound. Um, I'm probably going to, so I can do it two, we, two ways. I can paint over, so I can put the compound in, fix, do the repair, fix the hole, and then paint over it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a special trick that an old timer taught me. And I'm going to add some of the color to the actual compound. I'm going to do the repair, and then I'm going to blend it all in. So um, on this one, this isn't a how-to per se. This is a check out how bad this is, and then let me show it to you when I'm done. So um, I will bring you back as I got some more you know, going on and that kind of thing, and, and I'll show you what's happening, but this is the major problem, is this big hole right here. So we're going to get that fixed and recolor the seat, and then we're also going to fix that headliner that's fallen in the back. So I'm just going to glue that back up, nothing fancy. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get everything together and get started. All right, I got the seat all clean, sanded, smooth. Then I got it all cleaned up with some 99% isopropyl alcohol. And then I have put in my backing back there and I have used the compound to repair that hole. And these cracks here, I put compound in, cleaned up all this, sanded it all down. So now, I'm actually gonna leave this for now, let that start to cure, and I'm gonna go over and fix a chip in that Avalon's windshield and knock out this headliner piece, and then I'll come back and then I'll start blending the color in and make it all look the same. So I'll bring you back in just a little bit after I've uh, got into it. If you'll notice, I actually put the color inside the compound so it matches pretty good but we are gonna add some color right on top. So I'll bring you back shortly. Okay, so I got that headliner kind of put back up, looking halfway okay. It was hanging down before, so I got that straight and I put some resin in this chip right here. So it's all sealed up now and not going to get any worse. And as far as seat goes, I've made the repair. 
but um and then i've done kind of a priming coat the paint i got matches pretty good but i just put a light coat on everything i am going to uh spray some primer or it's a, a prep spray essentially for color bonding of paint for leather so i'm going to use the prep spray and then i'm going to go ahead and coat the whole seat i tried to just touch up everything but it looks a little blotchy i don't like it so i'm gonna let this cure for a while and with that all right so yes the answer is no it does not look perfect however it will never look perfect because this is a uh, 10 year old car that has like i think uh, like a hundred thousand miles on it or something like that so it's you know it's worn it's used and uh, there's no big gaping hole. Now, I only did a priming coat of paint. So uh, the paint, when I spray the whole seat, so I'm gonna mask off everything. I'm probably gonna spray it in the car, mask everything, and then you'll get, I mean, that's not filled in with paint. Either of those spot, spots down there, this is a little light. All of it needs paint. All of this needs some paint. It's gonna fill a little bit. And uh, try to get these corners. There we go. Gotta get all the gunk out of the corners so that it looks like it's supposed to. There we go. All right. So, anyway, it's all the repair is done. Now I gotta wa wait for the compound, the repair compound to dry, and then. I'll come back in a little bit and I will paint this whole seat and make it look awesome. So you can see the color in spots, but I want this to all dry and for the compound to dry a little bit. And then I will get the whole, pe whole seat co covered in this light gray tone and we will be good to go. So I'll bring you back whenever it's complete. All right, so I have already painted the seat but I just want to show you how extravagant my masking is. I'm just waiting for this uh, color to dry so that I can pull the masking out. But the repair was done. It looks pretty good. Um, basically, it fits the rest of the car. I mean, the car's not perfect. It's a 2013. It's 20, almost 2023. So we're 10 years old. It's got a big dent right there. <clears throat> but you can see that big repair is all done and looks pretty good. Um, like I said, I gotta, I'm got i waiting on this to dry to where it's not soaking wet. I put a uh, couple of light coats on and then one thicker coat. And uh, the repair, I'm very happy with uh, it actually it worked really well I put a lot of compound inside there uh, as you I, I guess I explained it I don't remember this was yesterday when I did start this work but I put cheesecloth behind there basically to give the compound something to stick to that wasn't right on the back so that the leather can move freely um, so anyway that worked out really well Got a lot of the uh, the wear marks taken care of. This all had to be patched. There were deep cracks in there. And I guess one would say, could you do more? Yeah, but maybe is the answer. Do you need to do more? No, it looks awesome. So... Uh, I probably could have worked a little bit harder at getting this area flatter, but it was really, really difficult to basically get a quality repair because of the big rip. But the bottom line is when you're trying to recondition something or fix or repair something, you're looking to improve the looks of it so that you can get it to last longer. And that's exactly what we've got here. Um, this paint will die down once it dries. It will lose this crazy gloss that you see. Uh, the gloss is because it's still pretty.
pretty wet. Uh, it will die down and be a satin finish, but it definitely matches the factory color, as you can see there. Looks good. So we've got a good color match, and now, like I said, we're just waiting for the uh, the paint to dry a little bit so that when I pull this masking out, it doesn't mess up the paint. So that's where we're at. Uh, once I get to the point where I'm pulling the masking out, after I've done everything, I will shoot you a final clip after I put the headrest back on and that kind of thing. So we'll be right back. All right, boys and girls, she's all done. Took that nasty looking sheet. So it is not dry, just so you know. It is not completely dry. It just got tacky, and that's when I removed all the masking. So it will tone down. It will not be that glossy when, when all things are said and done. After it dries, it will be a nice satin appearance, but... I am not in the business of watching paint dry, so I'm out of here. I'm going to get paid and move right along. I'm very happy with how it turned out. That nasty, nasty hole. Is gone. So. Those defects look a lot better. And everything looks great. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to listen to me babble and check out what I'm doing. So I do now specialize in not only detailing and ceramic coatings and that kind of thing, but also window tint and leather and vinyl repair and reconditioning, also recoloring as you see. So if you've got a rip, tear, wear, anything, any problems with your leather or vinyl on, leather in your car, vinyl on your boat, leather on your couch, I can take care of it, match the color pretty good, if not perfectly, and uh, all is well in the world. So anyway, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. We talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Check out DetailJuice.com for all your product needs. Check out Infinity Custom Works, which is still in the works currently. Um, that will be live hopefully in the next month uh, where you can see that's where I'm moving all my services. So if you go to DetailJuice.com, you now can hit the services tab on the button bar and get to all of my services. Uh, but that button is now going soon going to redirect to InfinityCustomWorks.com, which will be my services site. Uh, we'll leave DetailJuice.com to be a uh, actual detailing product site and that's it <laughs> so anyway one more look at this and i'll let you guys go looking awesome very happy thanks for watching guys have a wonderful day and check out detailjuice.com for your product needs i know i've already said it. i'm gonna say it a hundred more times uh and then uh Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday sale is coming up next week, 35% off, uh, and you can get all the information and the free product buy tiers uh, in Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Sorry, got a thousand different things on my mind, and uh, I am done for the day, uh, but thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.